December 5th of every year is the World Soy Day. It's the day that we need to think about how important of the soil to our life. The soil gives us everything. Food, shelter, daily needs, medicine, everything comes from the soil. But most of people now, we were disconnected completely from the soil. Many people live in the city. They stand on the concrete. They stand on the carpet. They never touch the soil. Then people don't see how important the soil is. We look at the soil as assets, the soil as a factor that we can make money from it. But actually, the soil is more value than assets because the soil is our life. That's why in the past, people think the soil is like our mother. We call mother earth. Or many places, they believe that the soil is a kind of God. The God of the soil, they call Gaia, they call many things. It depends on each area. So the soil is very important to our life. Without soil, we cannot survive. If the soil is fertile, the soil is good. We have a good life. We have good food. We have a good economy. But when the soil depletes, the soil turns to the dead soil. We have problem. We never think about this much. So World Soy Day is the day to encourage people to think about how important the soil is. This year, the World Soy Day focus on halt salinization. That's the first thing. And the second thing is boost soil productivity. Why we need to halt salinization? Because we cut down the tree all over the world. We kill the grass all over the world with herbicide, with chemical. And then it makes the soil exposed to the sun. The water evaporate fast. The water underground come up with the soil. When the water evaporated, the, so the salt that come with the soil stay on top of the soil. That makes the soil very salty and then we cannot grow things much. That's a big problem all over the world. So the way we farming in the world now, we kill the soil. The way we cut down the tree, the way we grow monocrops, the way we use weed killer or chemical to kill grass. That's the way we ruin the soil. When we kill the soil, this means we kill ourselves. But not many people think about this because we believe that money is more important than soil. That's why not many people pay attention on the soil. We can kill the soil, rob the soil to get small amount of money from it. So this year is about whole salinization because the soil has too much salt on top of the soil now and we need to boost soil productivity to make the soil alive again we kill the soil completely so in the government level there may be have some policy have thing depend on academics knowledge they depend on scientific thing that they have in their head but for farmer like us, we don't need to think much about academic thing, about scientific thing. What we can do to improve the soil, to make the soil alive, to make the soil fertile again. It's easy. We don't need to study a lot. Just cover the soil with anything that can decompose. We can cover the soil with straw, with leaves, 
with anything. Don't let the soil exposed to the sun. That's the solution. That's the best healing technique for the soil to make the soil alive again. But if we cannot find the straw, we cannot find leaves or anything that can decompose to cover the soil. We can use any seeds, any kind of plant that grow fast, grow well. We can use that seed, sow everywhere and let them grow. When they grow, that's the way the soil healing itself. Don't think about alien plants. Don't worry about wheat. There's no wheat on this earth. What we call wheat is a medicine to heal the soil. So anything grow fast. That is the technique that the soil heal itself. So don't kill the grass with chemical. No burning, no chemical, no taking anything away from our land. That is the way to heal the soil. It's quite simple, easy, easy. You don't need to have a lot of money. Just go along the street, go anywhere. Whatever you see, they grow fast, grow well. Pick the seed of them and sow into our land. And we cut them down. We control them by cut them down. When we cut them down, it will cover the soil and help the soil can heal itself. Because whenever the soil did not expose to the sun, microorganisms start to propagate very fast, start to work very hard under the leaves or anything. And then when we cover the soil, the water, the water will evaporate slower. That keep the soil have moisture longer. Microorganisms propagate more and the soil will be better and better. We don't need to work too much. We don't need to use a lot of money to make the soil good. This is a very easy and simple way. So World Soil Day this year, just come back to cover our soil. Don't let the soil expose to the sun. This is the best healing technique for the soil that will help to solve every problem in the soil. So help each other go back to the soil and heal our mother earth, make our mother healthy again. When our mother healthy, we will have a lot of food. We will have abundant life because mother can produce everything that we need for us. But whenever we hurt our mother, we rob our mother, mother will get sick. Like now, mother earth gets sick all over everywhere. That's why we have drought, we have flood, we have problem with our farming because mother not healthy. Our mother gets sick. World Soy Day is the day to come back to be with our mother, help take care of our mother. That's the way we will survive.